Today we share five things to do in Hanoi. We are at a place called Banh Mi 25, eating one of my favorite Vietnamese foods, Banh Mi. And so for those of you who don't know what Banh Mi is, it's a sandwich, which is a nice crispy French roll filled usually with pate, but I don't like pate, so I get rid of that. Um, and you have some sort of meat in there as well as some um, pickled vegetables, mayonnaise, and it's really, really yummy. And carrot and coriander, and carrot, but you yeah. don't like coriander. I don't like coriander either, so <laughs> I don't have that. So you make your own bite by me. Yeah, exactly. And this place is pretty great. Um, you order across the road or you can sit here and order and you can get takeout over there. You can sit here and enjoy your banh mi. And for three banh mi's and a beer, we are paid about four US dollars. So yeah, it's pretty really cool. Cheap. <laughs> Very good. So let me try banh mi here. Good. Nice yeah. and crispy roll. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice and fresh roll. Nice fresh roll. That's what you want with the bumping. So Dean, can you tell me why you are dressed like a unicorn? Because this is my everyday wear. <laughs> Was no, this we a are dare at, or something? <laughs> no, we're at a place called the Unicorn Cafe that of course Amanda found. And as you can see, you get to dress as a unicorn while eating some lovely uh, cake and coffee. So got some hot coffee, probably should went for cold coffee, it's a bit hot at the moment, passion fruit slushing and the unicorn cake. <laughs> that looks good, does it suit me? Yeah, it Do does it actually. I, it's freaking me out a bit because I think it does suit you and I think you want to take the onesie home, which I think if you want to, you can buy them here. Yeah, I think I need to get one size bigger though. Yeah. <laughs> Very cute, Dean. Very good. There is plenty of seating and a play area for the kids and no, you don't actually have to get dressed up. And tonight for dinner, we've come to a restaurant called Ban Cha Hong Lien um, and it is famous because President Obama and Anthony Bourdain came and had dinner here together and they're really promoting it around the restaurant as you can see on the wet wipes as eaten here by US President Obama in 2016. And they've actually preserved the table and chair where they both sat in a glass container. Do you enjoy your bun chai tonight? Here we go. Very nice, nice and, nice and smoky. Yeah. Like and I get to sleep with Obama. Good. And do you want to tell people about the soup? Not really. Uh, Dean, thanks for being so helpful. Ban cha is a specialty dish of Hanoi and is a soup with pork meatballs. You can add rice noodles as well as vegetables and dipping sauce. It's really tasty, but it takes some getting used to as it's served lukewarm. I've made it to the military museum in Hanoi. I managed to find my way there from the hotel and walk on the roads with all the motorbikes and cars and I didn't get hit. So that's an accomplishment. So Dean and mom, you don't have to worry about that. Um, and what I'll do is I'll take you around and show you around the museum. You can see behind me there's a graveyard of some relics from the war. The ticket in is 40,000 dong. If you want to bring in professional cameras, then that's an additional 30,000 dong on top. Uh, but if you just have your phone, then you can bring that in, that's fine. You can get some cool photos of the graveyard from the top of the flag tower, which is where I am at the moment. And behind me is a sculpture that has been made from various parts of planes that have been shot down by the Vietnamese, uh, both French and American planes from various wars. I think it's well worth the visit. Probably spend about an hour here. Um, it takes you through some of the history of Vietnam. You see some of the weapons that we used throughout the ages. You learn about women's role in the various wars. Um, but I think that the highlight for me really was the military graveyard where you could see the different planes and tanks. Um, you can get some good photos there. Um, most of the exhibits are in English, however there's a section that talks about battle plans and that's not in English. So I'm super excited because I'm on the way to get a massage and getting a massage is one of my favourite things to do. Today though the place I'm going to is a little bit different than usual um, and that's because the masseuses at this place they are all blind. So um, basically it's an initiative that they've put together to help blind people 
um, get some jobs and they offer them training and things like that. And I've heard really good things about this place, so I'm really excited to get a massage there. I'll let you know how it goes. And I'm pleased to say that the massage was amazing, so I definitely recommend it. I am now at Train Street in Hanoi, which has just recently closed. So what used to happen here was the train passed through and there's shops on both sides and cafes and um, basically people would have to pack up and the train would come through. But apparently some of the tourists were um, doing some quite dangerous practices and they were jumping in front of the train uh, just before it came there and that resulted in an emergency stop. So um, they've actually closed the tracks now so you're not allowed on them. But people are still surrounding here and taking pictures. Tune in for next time where we visit the Margaret River in Western Australia. If you like what you see, click the subscribe button and hit the bell.